Welcome to the start of a new series of exam walkthrough videos. So these ones are all about aromatic chemistry. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. So part A, the reaction between benzene and bromine. We don't need to worry about the uh, role of the halogen carrier in the equation. So it's a straightforward substitution. One of the hydrogens, so I've just taken that one there, is going to substitute for one of these bromines and you're going to get HBr, obviously, as a byproduct. Question moves on to the reaction between phenol and bromine now. So we're told that it decolorizes bromine. What's the other observation? Well, it's all linked to the generation of the organic product. So this 246-tribromophenol is a white precipitate. And the final part of this bit of the question is the reaction between cyclohexene now and bromine. So there's the reaction. We're going to name this. So this is going to be 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. And the very last part of the question is all about the relative resistance to bromination of benzene compared to phenol compared to cyclohexene. So it's all down to the nature of the pi electrons in the molecule. So we'll start with benzene. So we've got delocalized pi electrons in benzene. So that gives the pi electrons a low electron density, and that means it's unable to polarize the bromine molecule, and therefore that is going to prevent it from reacting because they don't attract each other. So if we move on to phenol now, you'll notice I've drawn a lone pair on the oxygen. There's actually two on there, but we're only interested in one of them. So in phenol, a lone pair of electrons on the oxygen becomes delocalized into this delocalized ring of pi electrons. So it kind of goes, it becomes part of this system here. So that's going to raise the electron density of the pi electrons, which means that it is able to polarize Br2 and therefore they will attract each other. And finally, in cyclohexane, you've actually got localized pi electrons in the carbon carbon double bond. So the pi electrons are just shared between those two carbon atoms. And so this will be classed as a region of high electron density. And it will be able, therefore, to polarize the bromine molecule. 